That's it. Indian word for good water. Mm. <laughs> Miss, do you watch porno? You do? What kind do you like? You don't, you don't watch it? You don't at all? Not at all? And how do you, how do you get aroused? Antiquing? What is your... Uh, I saw a 1910 baby high chair, and I just had to change my panties. Uh-oh, that hit a nerve with the summer share people. Anal beads, you know what that is? It got real quiet. All right. Here's what I don't understand. Why do they come in so many different colors when they always come out brown? I don't get it. Is that a kid in here? Yeah. Get that kid out of here. Get him right over to a therapist. <laughs> Who would bring a fucking kid here? What are you gonna do after this, heroin? Get him out of here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Anna Gansy. You guys are great. Sure. Take it easy, man. Hey, this week I'm in Amagansett, a little town at the eastern end of Long Island. And tonight, I'm going to live my childhood dream. No, not to have sex with the entire cast of Saved by the Bell. My other childhood dream, to drink my way back to Manhattan, across Long Island. So come on, we're off. What is it? <laughs> the Hamptons. Look at the fashion, Brian. If more people would drink their way back to New York City, it would be a better place. Uh-oh. The money goes quickly here in the Hamptons. Wait a minute! A model is eating! Get it on tape! Get it on tape! We're always at the lovely uh, tavern located in Southampton, New York. I'm the manager. Tell us about, like, partying in the Hamptons. Partying in the Hamptons. Um, it's all about what kind of bottle you get, how many bottles you get. Do you have B-grade models, A-grade models? Um, it's all about drinking and having fun. You know what I'm doing tonight? What? Yes. I'm not gonna try. And... I'm drinking my way back to Manhattan. Where's my after-school special? Where's my uh, stamp? Brian, are you drinking? Do you want one too? Here you go. Here you go, Brian. Let's see if you can handle the Long Island drinking. How are you? Are you okay? Come on. Oh! Whoa! Look who's... All right, finally, it's a show! Watch out, I got this. I got this. Now what do we do? Oh, I remember. Let's go. Well, the Hamptons were fun, but you know I gotta keep moving, so I'm gonna hop a ride on the Jitney. Long Island. I know this looks like a bar, but it's actually a school. Alrighty. A school for some people who are very important to me. Bartenders. Eight, seven and seven huh? and Come on, let's code. check it out. Seven and seven and run code. We need a bar back. Bar back for station. Charlie here. You are the dean, let's say, of the Bartenders Academy. Now, how many students have passed through your doors here? I've trained over 8,000 students myself. Can you take us uh, on a little tour? Absolutely. Keep on calling the drinks, guys. No problem, Charlie. This is our wall of fame of students that have just graduated through our program. I probably have run into a couple of your uh, alumni, uh, you yeah. know, on my travels. These are your notes. <laughs> what does it say? Teaches you how to make the drink. Let me quiz you. Melon ball. Melon ball. The, the uh, drink. So uh, how long does it take to become a bartender? Well, it took two weeks so far, but I probably still suck. What we're gonna do now is our speed test. We're gonna be calling it out and drilling them. If they get it wrong, they're gonna have to retake the test. So this is the final. This is it. We're gonna make 14 drinks in seven minutes. Let me have a godmother and a godfather. Come on already. I got songs coming on the jukebox. <laughs> All right, let me have a Long Island iced tea and an electric iced tea. This is the final, everyone. Will these people end up as certified bartenders, or will they have to go the other way? All right, let me have a Waiters. tangerine marshmallow, guys. You don't work in the morning. This is all being done to time. Anybody could sit at home and just make them all day long. These guys have to do it to time. Bang, bang, bang. You have to have them out. Quicker, quicker. I'm almost sober. Now I'm going to up the ante a little bit. Cat fight in the bar. What do you do? Now I'm going to put her through another test called the annoying drunk. You know, you look a lot like Fran Drescher. Is that you? 
What's this? What is it? It's piss! <laughs> Do it again! Let me ask you a question. Two Jews walk into a bar. What? Wait, that's a joke. <laughs> Keep making those drinks! Go! Let me have a black Russian and a white Russian. You have one minute left. Okay, let me distract you now. Here's one of my breasts. Make that drink. Make it! All right, stop. It's graduation time. Woo! Yes. How did they do, Charles? They did great. They all passed? They all passed. They're all oh. mixologists of the year. Dave, do you have anything to say to our graduating class of 2002? Well, guys, making, making drinks, drinks is just, is just a, small a small part, part of being a bartender. Part of being a bartender. Yeah. Remember, you're also, you're also someone's, someone's friend, friend and confessor, and therapist, therapist and alibi. alibi. But being, but being drunk, drunk is really not what we're here for. It's friendship. It's friendship. That's, That's the secret of bartending, right? right? Friendship, friendship in a glass. glass. Some of you are going to go on to incredible yeah. careers as bartenders. Some of you might give it up and be actors. Either way, congratulations. Good luck. Everybody say tequila. Tequila. Hey. Cool. I'm drinking my way across Long Island. Long, long, Long Island, Island. I'm moving. Long Island, I'm grooving. I keep it moving, keep, keep it rolling. I can't take the break. I either bike or hitchhike or take the train. I'm moving. Listen, I can't be stopped. I got a plan to pop the steel boss to hop. I'm moving. Thanks, mister. And good luck with the operation. This is my hometown, Rockville Center. This is where I grew up. Hey. You want a little tour? Come on, let's go. These are the streets I grew up on. Huh? I lost my virginity. That bush. This is that bench I used to sit on. The first bar I ever got drunk in. To old times. You saw the first place I got drunk. Well, here's the first place I threw up. Here's the second. The third place. High school and the girl I had a crush on in high school. Jane, will you go out with me? No fucking way, Dave. And the guy who had a crush on me in high school. Dave, will you go out with me? No fucking way. Go Cyclones! Woo! -hoo! And it all wouldn't be possible without the help of one special lady, my mom. Hey, you want to meet her? Come on, mom. Hey! How are you? Oh. Uh. This is my mom. Hello, all. Sorry for dropping by so unannounced, but you stay up late, right? This is the crack of the day for me. We all went to bed late. Yeah. We did. We, we had a cool house growing up. We were the we only house on the block, remember, that the lights were on? Yeah, all night. Yeah. That's why we're insomniac, runs in our blood. Mom, I can only stay a little bit because, uh... Aww. Mom, where are you going? I'm just going to get the album. Oh, the album. This is going to take a while. This is Buddy. <laughs> I know you stand up and he'll stand up. Uh-uh. Easy, buddy. I'm glad to see you, too. Get him off, Mom. Get him <laughs> off. You said one album. Look at this. Wow. This is our whole family, right? Tell everybody who that is. This is Craig. He's the oldest. Then there's Dave. Then there's Eric. And there's Monica. She was our little princess. But the brothers didn't treat her like a princess. All right, that's enough of that one. Next picture. <laughs> There you are. He didn't like his picture taken. Yes. He's always shy. That's my dad. Wait, I have to go get my glasses. Wait, let me get my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I have to find... Okay, Ma, I told you I have to get moving. Oh, know, okay. Drinking and all that. All right. Just one more album. Oh, this was the best picture of you. Where? What? Look at those pants! That's me? You were so No wonder I have, a, I have problems and a, <laughs> and a love of river dance. Look at that. <laughs> Brian. Which one's me? That's me? And who's this, my agent? All right, Ma, so I gotta get going. Oh. All right, another couple of minutes. Oh, great. Oh, thanks, Ma. Oh. <laughs> so, Ma, what do you think of my show? Do you like it? I like it.
like it. I like I like when you run around and, and, and the music comes on. I like when you were in Bo's Boise. Oh, that was a good one, yeah. Yeah, that was a nice one. The one where the guy got all mutilated wasn't too... What do you mean? You know, they no. sort of tattooed a private area. Oh, the guy with the pierced penis. Yes, that seemed like it hurt. Oh. You took time to come and visit. Well, actually, I was hoping you can lend me a couple of bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody said he was funny as a child, but he really wasn't that funny. What? You didn't think so? Yeah. I was like sad, right? You were like one of the seven dwarfs. Grumpy. <laughs> messy. Sleepy. <laughs> Are you laughing at me, Brian? Look what you did, Ma. I'm supposed to be the drinking night owl, Ma. You turned me like a little mama's boy. I have to go, Mom! <laughs> Come on! Get out of here! Don't be ashamed! Get out of Mom! I have to go! Oh, look at that. You're all hot and sweaty. All right, Mom. I gotta oh, get back on the trail. You gotta go? Yeah, I gotta go. Oh. Let me get a picture. All right. I love you. Good luck. Okay, I'm a grown man. I don't need luck. Uh, All right? See you again. See you, buddy. Bye, Ma. So long. Long Island. Long, long, long Island, Island. I'm moving. Whoa. Long Island, I'm moving. I'd like to report a 40-foot duck. <laughs> no, I'm not drunk. It's gigantic. I can't speak any louder. Cause it'll hear me. Yeah. Well, at least bring some white wine, right? Hello. Hello. All right. Long We're off. Island. Long, long, long island, island. I'm moving. I'm drinking across Long Island. Ahoy. Come on. We got more to do. Free ball. Nobody has sleeves here. You have no sleeves, right? You have no sleeves. You have no sleeves. This guy has no sleeves. She has no sleeves. Is there a sleeve like a uh, law here? Like a uh, some kind of no sleeves in Freeport? Hey, this guy has sleeves. Get the f out of Freeport. What kind of fish is that? Tilefish. Tilefish. Look at that. We're talking tilefish. Oh, he's telling me something. Oh, you heard him. Let's go. Where were you? Are we doing clams tonight? Yes. Let me get one of those. Is there oysters? You want clam or oh, oysters? Oh, I always mix them up. That's oysters? Yes. Now, is that the aphrodisiac one? Yeah, that's good stuff. It, yeah. gets, you, it gets you horny? Yes. It's like ecstasy from the well, sea. Listen, they changed the name. That's a different name now. What is it? Let me have it. They call it Viagra in the Hampshire. They call it Viagra in the Hampshire? Yeah. Oh, hold, Look hold, at hold, that. Hold, it's hold, so hold, disgusting. Hold, hold, push it down. Push it down. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. This could get very ugly, because I could get very horny. What's your name? <laughs> We're going to make it. Come on. On the L-I-R-R. -R. On the L-I-E. I'm down with the Holly Selassie Posse. Sock Posse. Where am I? Jamaica, Queens. Jamaica, Queens. Yeah. OK, so we're really getting close to the city now. You're almost, oh, yeah. you're like half an hour from yeah. the city. Mm -hmm. close. You're almost there. We're doing it, people. We're doing it. Thanks a lot, man. All right. All right, I didn't get to use a Van Wilder joke. By the way, Come on. go upstairs, free beer. I'm done here. Come on. <laughs> Gotta keep going. Thanks. Brooklyn, wild out. All right, Coney Island. Yeah. Oh. Almost home. Last call, the dernier, the dernier. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like what? Like what? 
It's like eight thirty. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Oh, that's it. That's it. We gotta go. I gotta drive home to Long Island, you know. Well, the bars are closed, and I'm in Brooklyn. I'm almost home. But you're probably wondering who else is up. Janice, Janice, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. How y'all doing? Janice, tell everybody what you do. I work for the New York City Department of Sanitation. I'm a mechanical broom operator. Yeah, how, how fast can one of these babies do? 40 miles an hour, but it's it's pretty fast, though. Yeah, that is fast. Yeah, 40 miles an hour, it can move. For, for a broom? Yeah, Basically, it, we're on a gigantic broom. I've never seen one of these things. What can it do? Oh, it cleans the street. They have two sweepers on the side, okay. which is segments. And they have a pickup room in the back. That does the scrubbing and picking up the garbage in the street. What's your shift again? I work midnights to eight. So you're a night owl, huh? Love it to death. Are you a married lady? Oh, no. I'm a free agent. A free agent? <laughs> She's a bit of a player. <laughs> you, you got your family there? A daughter, 29. Mm -hmm. two you? Kids. Yeah. No. Yes, I got a nine-year-old granddaughter. You got any shocks for this? You ever see stuff like, you know, bad That's stuff happen? One night, they had a shootout. So an innocent bystander, he had got shot straight between the eyes. I called 911, right? She said, go take his pulse. So I said, miss, the guy is dead. He was still on his bike between two mailboxes. Oh. So I go over to the dead body, and I said, excuse me, hello? She told me to come and ask you, was you dead? <laughs> <laughs> Jazz, you want a coffee or something? Yeah, I'll get something from you. OK. Mm. I need that coffee I've been drinking all night. Well, oh, oh, as long as you're having a good time, that's all I need. I, w I, mean, I am having a good time. OK, coffee time I'm over. Say, when, I can, when I see a cute guy or my cute fan, this is how I get back in the broom. Oh, look at that. I'm, I'm serious, just mm. like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. On my right side, it's a Dominican restaurant called Cabanga. I call it La Cabanga. They got the sexiest hoochie mamas in there you ever want to see. <laughs> I mean, Where hoochie. Is that again? Right here on the corner. Right Right there. Being out this late, you ever get afraid? I mean, you know, like anybody ever come at you? One time, one guy told me to come down out of that pool so he could knock the out of me. I had that wrench in my hand. I was going to salambo him. I what do you was mean going salambo him? Take him to Knuckle Junction. Pot out. <laughs> <laughs> I would have hit him so hard in his head, his mother would have had headaches. <laughs> <laughs> Janice. Thanks for letting me hang out. Can I get a picture? Sure, darling. All right, you have a good night. You too, sugar. All right, one last thing I have to do. Come on. Ah, oh, baby, I'm home. Phew. I made it. And as always, I brought a little gift for my friend Philippe, who watches my apartment when I'm gone. Philippe, hello? What the hell happened in here? Oh, I can't be believe, what's this? Hey, Dave, sorry you missed my birthday party. Don't worry, I taped it for you. Just hit play, Philippe. Sun's up and I'm back in my apartment. Thanks for hanging out with me on this long trek home. It was quite a trip, huh? <laughs> well, it's Betty by time, so I'll see you soon. Get some sleep. Ha, 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 ha.